All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and on YouTube for a fun donation deck here. We have an Abzan deck built around Smothering Tithe. So Smothering Tithe is our enchantment. Whenever an opponent draws a card, they can pay two. And if they don't, we get a treasure. And so we are hoping our opponent does not pay two very much and we get a lot of treasures. And so uh, if we're going to have a lot of treasures, we got to have something to do with those, right, Hawkeye? Yeah. We have to have something to do with those treasures. So we have Revel and Riches that can win whenever we have um, 10 treasures in play on our upkeep. So that's certainly, you know, nice. You know, winning games is, is good. And uh, we also have Rampage of the Clans that we can use at end step to destroy all artifacts and enchantments. And for each one, we just turn it into a 3-3. And so we can kind of surprise our opponent by putting a bunch of 3-3s in on end step by destroying all of our artifacts and enchantments. So that's kind of our plan, pretty janky. We'll see if it ever works. That'll be awesome. Um, definitely possible we don't win, but we'll see. Uh, sideboard, I kind of have just like a bunch of anti-aggro stuff, you know, like anti-mono red, like Shalai, Angel, Grace, Lyra. So like we have a plan of beating the red decks. Um, you know, hopefully our main deck beats the creature decks, like where we get to destroy a bunch of creatures, all these wraths and stuff. Um, Ethereal Absolution is awesome against creatures, uh, especially having multiple of these in play. You know, it's not legendary. If you get, like, like maybe it should just be built more around Ethereal Absolution, too. If you get, like, two, three, four of these in play, just every creature they play just automatically dies. I don't know. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that works. Uh, and then, again, I think Control is going to be an awful matchup for us, probably. Just whatever. I don't have, like, a whole lot against Control. Um, Spyglass for stopping Vivian. Stop, don't let them destroy our cool enchantments um, and everything. So, all right, let's try it out. Abzan Tithe. It's our first deck. The deck is absolutely perfect. Easiest 5-0 I've ever seen in my life. Nice. Uh, Clum, which is Mister's. Played Mardu Angels as well and went 15 and 1 today. The deck is so much fun to play. I, having played Sarah Angels in a trade win rider deck in the 90s and coming back, I love the Angels are still a, a thing again. That's awesome. Dude, glad you're loving that deck. Yeah. Um, I wonder. For, you, for those of y'all that have been playing the Mardu Angels a bunch, how do you like Adanto Vanguard in that two drop slot? Are y'all liking Adanto Vanguard? I was thinking today about maybe, what about Re Madi Reveler? in that slot. Oh, come on. Really? Our deck is just going to do this to us? Yeah, absolutely. I I think, you know, Bant Midrange still needs tuning and everything, but uh, yeah, I think it's certainly a serious contender. So this looks like Rakdos midrange. Nope. Okay, so they're they're just goblins. I guess if I hit land drop and mortify the Legion War boss, and then hit land drop in Kaya's Wrath, I'm not specifically dead. Okay, now we're pretty pretty dead. I think Remod is an excellent push against other mid-range decks, but I like Vanguard for the metagame. Okay. Alright, so if we kill one war boss, we take two, four, so that's that's like four power because it makes a two, two. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're at nine. That is too much. All right, well, we're playing against aggro. Let's go with our anti-aggro plan. Um, Ethereal Absolution seems awesome here. All right, if we're going anti-aggro, we're bringing all those things in. What am I cutting? You know, I could probably cut the Cleansing Nova. I still have the Kaya's Rats. So I think that's fine. Uh, Revel and Riches. It's probably going to have to get boarded out, unfortunately. 
probably just have to take take apart like the 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 janky part of the deck against aggro decks unfortunately we just don't have time to to do all that i guess of course if we take if we take all the smothering tithe revel and rampage out of our deck we're only down to 57 so well, i mean if i kept that in we'd be at 58 so if we keep a couple of these To, to get to the uh, best of three mode for a thousand gold, you have to hit a switch that is around this area of the screen, like right around where this this deck box picture is. There's a switch uh, on the ma on the main screen. It doesn't look like a switch. It's a horrible design. Wizards needs to get rid of that. Um. So I'll put two of these back in. I could just play two duress. Play a couple duress. Yeah, they added it to show less options to new players, but I. It's not very many less options. It's only it only takes out like a, about three options, but I feel like it's a whole lot harder for new players to find the options they want. I just it's a question that I've answered dozens and dozens of times of like how do how do you get to that that you know, and you know it took me time also whenever I was first looking at it too. Like it, I don't think it helps make anything less confusing. I, guess, I think it makes the program more confusing. So I understand what they were trying to do, but I, it's not a good implementation. They make it more obvious of like, hey, check out these other game modes over here or something. Alright, so the duress didn't help too much. And opponent's hand is pretty stacked. Um, I have two Judiths. If I kill this Judith, they just have another Judith. Priest of Forgotten Gods is going to be a real problem. Just everything's going to be a problem. We just got to find, like, Ethereal Absolution, honestly. Yeah, I don't think they're going to remove it either. I also don't, but don't think it's well designed. All right, so I'm playing Karn. Am I ticking up or ticking down? I think we're going up. Are you certain of your decision? Yeah, the Simic Adapt deck is is really nice. Um. Yeah, that's still another deck that working on, but yeah, no, it's a it's a good deck. Please do not do that. There we go. Okay, so we can I don't really need Thaumatic Compass. Um Yeah, I'll just go up. How convenient. The problem is okay. That's not so bad. I was gonna say like the problem is is like if we get something like really good there, like we're never gonna get it because the Karn's gonna die here um, after the Kai's wrath. Oh, it's not token. Never mind. There's only two triggers. Right. Karn's not dead. Yet. Legion war boss can kill Karn. Um, I'm real excited about the Bant value deck we're going to play later, Do not pity and I just realized I haven't put up the, the deck list for it. See, I want to keep Wrathing before my opponent plays Midnight Reaper, because they play Midnight Reaper, they get to draw a lot of cards. So I want to Wrath again before Midnight Reaper enters the battlefield.
I know I could wait and like play the Vraska and tick up and get, you know, supposedly get more value out of the Wrath, but with Midnight Reaper on the battlefield, or sorry, with Midnight Reaper in their hand, it's not necessarily. That's not necessarily the case. <sighs> Come on. So I can just trade with Reaper, or I can block Forgotten Gods. Um, I'm going to trade with Reaper. And just get that thing out of here. I hmm. despise tyrants like you. Make your captain proud. We're staying in here. We're trying. Well, for those of y'all saying that you've been having trouble with following the paper magic, well, I'm here. Hey, Mass. Day's going good. Just started off. Big mistake. You'll pay for that. Our opponents had some awesome hands here. Their deck looks really impressive. Alright, well, I, I think I have to just get Midnight Reaper off the battlefield again. I've had so many Judiths. I mean, they get to draw a card, but... I can't just kill other things because they get to draw cards, and then whenever Midnight Reaper, they draw more cards. They just draw so many cards. needs her crew. Alright, you just brought food home? Time to watch match one. Nice. Uh, Grease Menagerie so good. Alright, we pretty dead. Uh, I, I, yeah, like they're gonna get. Oh, they're getting War Boss? Okay. Instead of Midnight Reaper. Well, maybe we draw another Kaya's Wrath. Or Cleansing Nova. You know, if we draw another Wrath, which we have three other Wraths in the deck, they don't have Midnight Reaper, so they won't draw a lot of cards. I should have played my land. Enough! I've killed for less. It's like an angel of grace. Maybe lethal anyway, though. Yeah, my opponent had lethal here. Oh no, they couldn't attack with war boss. Right. But yeah. No, they couldn't attack with war boss. All right, our opponent uh, beat us up pretty bad there. Yeah, they had really good draws, but that's that's like their their cards. You know, Judith and Midnight Reaper and Legion War Boss. Those three cards are just insanely good. Um, 
Yeah, so they're a lot like the the Mardu Aristocrats deck that uh, I was playing earlier, except for they just weren't playing white, and so they were just so their mana was better, which I think is a, a really important thing for that deck because I know I was struggling with the painful mana base before, and uh, their two drops were certainly worse. But not that much worse. They just played all the Priests of Forgotten Gods, and Goblin Instigator is perfectly fine. You know, um, it's not as good as, you know, Tithe Taker and um, whatever the other white black two drop is called. Do I want a shock? I don't really want a shock for a Thaumatic Compass. Yeah, like, they would have beat a lot of decks, not just our deck. What is... Grace wouldn't have gotten, would not have gotten me another draw. We did not have Angel of Grace in our hand. You probably, you're probably thinking that Angel of Grace was in our hand there. It wasn't in our hand. Alright, treasure map. Bruce Menagerie is just real good with all those awesome three drops. No, if you exile it, your life total just goes to 10. We would have still taken lethal. That's her enter the battlefield effect is you stay at 1. Um, just going to draw. <laughs> That's true, Matt. All right, so we're playing against Control Deck. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, I just was not planning on beating Control Decks. Uh, so this is going to be basically impossible for us to win. But we'll try. I need a land drop. Um. All right, we got the land drop, so I can I can use two treasures to cast Vraska Relic Seeker, which is going to be my plan here. And going to destroy the Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, the reason why I'm so bad against control decks is because my deck's filled with removal spells. You know, I just have like a bunch of sweepers and like removal, and our opponent isn't playing creatures for me to kill, so I have just a uh, just a a ton of dead cards. They won't really do anything. What's a strong deck right now? Been running Golgari mid range. Yeah, that's a good one. Um. There are lots of strong decks. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna just I'm gonna Vraska minus again on this wilderness reclamation. Our actions determine the course of history. I mean I can make a creature that's like a a five five. With Karn, I can start just making creatures. What am I ticking up and looking for? Honestly, Rampage of the Clans would be good. I 
I have not cast an Ethereal Absolution, but I think the card is Accused strong, choice. and I like it in the deck. Stay says the stream is lagging for them. Is it lagging for other people? No? Okay, good. So if I if I do minus the Vraska, that's it. The Vraska's done. I'm still gonna do it. Flips, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for subbing with Twitch Prime there. Oh, I didn't update any of this stuff. Uh, that is sub number one on the day. And we are currently, says 66 subscribers away. I'm sorry, were you using that? Alright, so both Wilner's Reclamations down. I won't hide from the world. Is the good longer. news. The bad news Hold is we don't have any cards in hand. These are all dead. Don't do anything in the matchup. We're gonna get a ton of treasure tokens, though. Yeah, I have three sideboard, three spy glasses in the sideboard, which will be really nice in this matchup. We give ourselves one more chance. This will aid us. So I can use a treasure to play the Thaumatic Compass, and then the Thaumatic Compass will uh, transform. I guess I don't really want it to transform yet. I want to be able to play it and get a land with it. So I'll just wait. At least our deck is a lot cooler than our opponents. Going good, J-Jack. Yeah, go ahead. What does green give us that blue doesn't? In our deck, uh, we we have Rampage of the Clans for green. Let's hey, okay. Tuck the Karn. All right, that's not them, you know, killing us. No, no Bane Fire in the deck. Rampage of the Clans is our Bane Fire. Our opponent takes a lot of time to make decisions. There we go. Um, I just want to make a to me of make a creature. Oh. Say hello to my little friend. It's a big creature. And 
And then am I... No, I should be taking up with Karn. The, the, our attack stuff just doesn't matter. We need to find, like, Revel in the Riches, actually. No, yeah, so I, I should just be taking up with Karn. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. Because I guess, yeah, the other Karn does, doesn't matter, so... Yeah, that's, that's a mistake. Oh. Okay. I like seeing that from our opponent, March of the Multitudes. That is great. For us, because of Ethereal Absolution. Maybe that's our opponent's plan. I like that being their plan. I do not like my no Karn being gone, though. At least we shuffled the other Karn away. Okay, you want Karn to be one of your win cons. Well, the problem is, you know, Mo Mox Amber does nothing with Karn. Mox Amber is, is really hard to make work. Because it, it doesn't do anything with Karn, because Karn's colorless. Yeah, you have to play a whole lot of other colored legendaries to turn on Mox Amber. And it's it's just not a four of, unfortunately. Um, no, Karn's colorless. So unfortunately, I think this is where we lose now. Yeah, we have the ten treasure win con card, yep. We need to move quickly. I don't think they play Cleansing Nova, no, not in their I mean well I guess they may just destroy creatures, but I mean they're playing tons of enchantments uh, with their deck. You know, we've destroyed like multiple wilderness reclamations already. Oh, yeah, sorry, Cryro. Yeah, three Eastern. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm Eastern. We, so we lost our first one because our, we ran into an aggro, red-black aggro, um, with, uh, you know, Judith, uh, Legion War boss, um, and Gruesome Menagerie. It was just awesome. They had really strong, Strong hands and stuff just killed us. Both games, uh, pretty easily. Um, and now we're in game one against Control, which Control is a matchup I was kind of punning. So, can you catch the turns Nexus with Ethereal? No. Hurry. Nexus of Fate never goes to the graveyard, and Ethereal Absolution only exiles. Oh, it can exile any card. Never mind. I was thinking it only exiled the creatures, because it's just if it was a creature, then it makes the one one, but it can exile anything. Evil must not be told. I didn't realize it could exile every anything. I was thinking it just exile creatures. But no, Nexus never goes to the graveyard, so we still can't get it. 
You may regret that choice. Well, that's true. Yeah, you can exile or no exile a card from an opponent's graveyard. So no, you can't do it on your own graveyard. So we need Revel and Riches to win. All right, we're out of this. We can sit around and, I mean, if we draw Revel and Riches, they have like Teferi, they got all this stuff. I'm never gonna stop their Planeswalkers. All right, so let's get all these spy glasses and Duresses in. Um, take out the Kaya's Wraths, the Cast Down, um, Mortify destroys their enchantments, which is good. I guess I could destroy all artifacts enchantments with Cleansing Nova. Uh, and destroy, like, if they get, like, with the Wilderness Reclamations and Gift of Paradises and stuff, they get enchantments out before I do. That's probably just not going to happen. So I guess I'm going to keep these Ethereal Absolutions in. Or maybe I'll play a couple Shalais. I guess I'll play a couple Shalai's. Dark Phoenix, just having a little mimosa with lunch and chilling with the stream. Happy Saturday, man. Hey, happy happy Saturday to you, Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. This hand is so good, but we need lands. Hey, Tychorus. What do y'all think? Do I keep this hand? That's Good, but we need lands. Um, hey, Serrano. I'm not worried about their uh, March of the Multitudes. What can you play to counter mono red deck? You can play, play Angels. Alright, well, Mulligan. Bleh. First hand was so much better. Try to find those spy, spy glasses again. Nope. So we'll get uh, Karn in play right away. Yeah, or Esper with lots of life gain. That's that's pretty good. Ooh, there we go. All right, good start. Cleansing Novas. Man. I don't like Cleansing Novas. Could go as Kanta the, you know, like I could name the Ascanta land, or name Teferi, um, as Kanta the Sunken Ruin. <laughs> name Karn. Just so I, I can't activate Karn anymore. Just take my my only good card in my hand and name that. Show a strength there. Yeah, opponent went really hard with the enchantment hate. I don't think I really need to uh, mortify the Wilderness Reclamation right now, so I'm just going to play Karn. I should have played my land first. Dun, 
down, 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 down. I have faced worse than the likes of the choices we make reveal who we are. We don't have to worry about Settle the Wreckage at all with Shalai in play. Like, they're likely going to use one of these Cleansing Novas to, to kill the Shalai. Yeah, so they'll probably attack Karn and then play Cleansing Nova. I guess that's their plan with them shocking in. Unfortunately, they have two Search Roscantas. I'd really like to destroy Search Roscanta, but they have another one in their hands. Hmm, didn't even attack Karn for two. Man, that would have been... Man, that would be nice to play. In response to like a cleansing Nova that tries to kill all the creatures. What's this over here? A chromatic Lantern? Yeah, whatever. Good choice. Nah, we need to dig for something better than chromatic Lantern. If only they didn't Cleansing Nova then. If they waited a turn to clean, like, you know, like, they, they hit that fifth land drop. If they just didn't hit the fifth land drop, didn't Nova then, um, we could have, okay, that's pretty solid. I can take Settle and destroy this, or take Search, sorry, take Search and take this and destroy the other Search. Yeah, and then they're out of Ascantas, I think. They probably only play three. They already milled one over. Those Cantas a messed up card. Gotta get these things out of here. I'll make use of that later. Oh yeah, Ascant is broken with Wilderness. Yeah, Ascant is kind of broken on its own. <laughs> you don't even need Wilderness to make it e just ridiculous, but it does. All right, yeah, and that's that's seven. They would have been able to flip it, but now they're out of Ascantos. Ooh. We'll keep that. Our opponent is letting us flip the treasure map. Well chosen. Hey, what's up, Ting Jeff? Alright, so... Okay, they gave me Rampage of the Clan, so no duress. So... We get, we'll be able to duress next turn. Um... I can certainly see them just, if I play Revel and Riches, I, I see them just casting the Cleansing Nova, destroying all artifacts and enchantments. I don't think I want them to do that yet, because I want to be able to take Duress and Duress the Cleansing Nova. Uh, Deckmaster's good to go. Deckmaster's all good. Ugh. 
Oh, sorry, opponent. All right, so we're going to get rid of the Cleansing Nova. Your patience is rewarded. Play Spyglass onto Fairy. I guess I just take Settle also, or should I wait? Mad King Map with the tier one sub, welcome. I think I'll just wait. Welcome to the stream, thank you so much for that support. Oh hey, the our uh, sub notifications working again today. All right. It wasn't working yesterday. Yes, planeswalker abilities count as activated abilities. Anything that has a colon is an activated ability. Look for the the colon there. See, or is it a semicolon? Maybe it's semicolon. Whatever, whatever that whatever that is after. Uh, see, like the plus one. Then there's a semicolon, minus one, semicolon. Mad King Matt also gifting out some subs, gifting out three subs to the channel. Welcome. That's awesome. Orthy, Jar Jarpin, and Stay Manzo all getting those subs. That is five subs on the day. That means we are going to be opening up a pack after this. What deck is good in the constructed event? I need to create a deck and grind, but not sure which one has a better chance. Um, honestly, there's a lot of decks you can play. Like it's it's kind of like what what you like to play, what uh, you know matches, you know, like your kind of play style or it's something you enjoy. There's there's just a lot of different a lot of decks you can play. Okay, those are colons. Okay, the semicolon is that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, maybe third Shalai in. Shalai was pretty good. I'm going to take out one Revel and Riches and put in third Shalai. <laughs> Matt says, you're welcome. I've learned so much. You deserve it. Well, thank you so much, Matt. We got a game win. So we're going to go from there. So a mid-range for constructed event. Um, and so you're doing the best of one constructed event, right? Um, I think... Yeah, best of one. Um, I mean, maybe just the Mardu Angels, honestly. Uh... But you may need to may need to put like a couple deafening clarions in the main deck. Um, but yeah, mon mono red's awesome in that. Um, Bant with Knight of Autumns could be a, a good choice. Uh, like um, usually, like the there's like people place like some Abzan decks with. Um, with like Knight of Autumn and like all the Explore creatures and Angels. Abby Moss, welcome. Thanks for getting in on this sub action. Let's get in some more hype boats in the channel. So we are at 6 out of 10 now, towards the next one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Opponent's got a strong hand. Most definitely. Alright, what if I just cast Rampage at the clans? We're both down to three lands. They get three three threes. I have two three threes. Hey, Haishin, going good. Yeah, I, I would get two. I would destroy my lantern and my treasure map, and I'd destroy these three. So I'm trading three for three. Nah, I don't want to do that. I want to flip treasure map first. Yeah, I want to flip the map first. So do I... I'm thinking about just mortifying this Gift of Paradise, though, so they can't just cast Teferi this next turn. Because they missed a land drop, right? Because I'm missing a land drop. They were first. Yeah, they missed a land drop. Alright, well now they'll be able to cast... Cast it either way. They're not even keeping the land. Well, my plan, I mean, I'm going to destroy all the artifacts and enchantments anyway next turn, so I, I don't Trust think we need to use the Mortify yet. Thank me later. Let's skip to the good part. We still had five, they still had, end up having five mana. Mortify wouldn't have stopped Teferi. I think I do upkeep. Upkeep rampage. I guess we'll let them resolve that trigger first, because they could put like a search for Kanta in the bin. You know what? I'm not done yet. We need to find a sorcerer's spyglass for this Teferi. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool card, Rampage of the Clans. That was the first time casting it. That was fun. Alright, no settle for the opponent. Whoops. Attack! 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 Make another move. Yep, you get to pick the day uh, under underneath the pace. is like the link that you can use to uh, donate for a deck. Um, and yeah, you get to pick the day that uh, pick the day and also the slot first, second, third, or fourth for me to play the deck. Yep. Uh, 
who KCI sideboarding this against like Stony Silence decks. Like whenever all their things don't do anything, they could just make a bunch of three threes. That could be something. I mean, I guess you could just play something that kills the Stony Silence also. Yep, stream every day of the week. Yeah. Hey, Eisenf, doing good. Doing good. Attack. Time for plan B. All right, start getting some more treasures. All right, so presumably my opponent's not going to pay mana here. So we get that treasure. So now I have Mortify available. So I can destroy this. Ixalan's binding on my Shalai. And I guess that's just going to happen. Shalai does not give enchantments, Hexproof. Uh, I have not thought too much about an Orzhov control list right now. I like this treasure token too. That's a really cool treasure token. You know what? I'm not done yet. I can also just destroy this wilderness reclamation. Let's see what our opponent does. If they're like end up add four and. I guess they would add it in response to the trigger, though. Hmm. Maybe I need to just destroy this Wilderness Reclamation. So they cannot Nexus. This turn. Doesn't really stop them from Nexusing the next turn, though. They're down two Reclamations already. I like Profane Procession as a card. Hmm. Certainly the best for me if I can kill the binding. I think I'm just going to hope they don't have Nexus. They haven't they haven't had Nexus yet. Well, they have it. They've they've been able to play it previous turns with the fairy and hadn't had it. We need to move quickly. Alright, we get Shalai back. Shalai can kill this Teferi. That didn't go according to plan. And really glad they used the Knight of Autumn. Let's start treasure mapping. Hoping they have Settle the Wreckage in their hand. Maybe three Settle the Wreckages. That'd be nice. Uh, not another Teferi. That's not nice. All right, well, we have a lot of looks at something no to, Stand by to stop this Teferi here. I assume they're going to tuck Shalai. 
All right, they're not. No time for a break. Not talking July. Croaks with the host. Croak it. Uh, croc eyes. Maybe that. I don't know. Welcome everybody. We are playing a wacky donation deck here uh, with Abzan Tithe. We're playing a Smothering Tithe deck. Trying to use uh, Rampage of the Clans and Revel and Riches to win games. Hey Redgrave. All right, treasure map. Wait, are we just going to combat right now? Where are we at? Oh yeah, we're just in combat. Not on unstep. I feel like this game's taking forever. I played against the Marty version of this deck a few days ago. Pretty sweet brew. Okay, nice. know about our library just the two lands on the bottom one, one two three four five it's probably better than a random card but they also probably just don't have good cards in their hand I mean they could have another Teferi I'm gonna keep it you know I only get the one other scry Yeah, another Teferi. No more games. And now they can't minus the Teferi. Welcome back, feature. Thanks for the resub Hurry. there for the second month in a row. Need a Hawkeye cameo soon. Oh, he is, I guess you can barely see him right there. He is tucked behind the blanket back on the couch, all curled up. All right, we're sitting at 61 needed. The opponent gave up. That is a win. We are one and one. All right. Oh, that's so. Let, this is such a good reward too. Like these gold pieces, like with our smothering tithe deck. That's um, that's some awesome, uh, some good gold there. You think they had the advantage? Um, well, their tef if they didn't draw anything on those two turns, their Teferi was gonna die, and that was like their third Teferi that was gonna be gone. A bunch of wilderness reclamations gone. Um, I had these. The treasure maps were about to flip, and so I was gonna draw a lot of cards of the treasure maps. I don't know. I guess I think I I think I was. Uh, um, ahead, but yeah, it was kind of a, a weird concession, an early concession. Aura Sonic's been loving the Teamwork Gates deck a lot. Any idea what might be good versus the Mirror? I'm not sure. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think you just want to, like, out-ramp your opponent, maybe? Out-creature your opponent? You certainly want, like, your ramp spells and everything. All right, we're getting a pack because we got to five subs during that stream. So we're getting a Ravnica Allegiance pack here. There's not very many rares that I need left uh, from Ravnica Allegiance. So we're hoping we open a Mythic. There's still a, a decent amount of the Mythics that uh, I don't have four of, but I already have a lot of the rares because of the way that how uh, the packs open. So we're hoping for a Mythic. What would you suggest building for someone who just starting MTG but have been playing MTG a while? Um... I think that, I don't know, it's it's kind of just what, what you like to play, you know, like, I mean, you can really play anything between aggro, mid-range control, right now is the, the kind of time where you can kind of build whatever you want. Yeah, it kind of depends on what you're used to playing and, and what you like to play. 
Zagana. All right, as far as rares go, that's probably the best one left that I need. All right, and then also, uh, between games here, I wanted to take a minute and talk about a um, new sponsor for the stream here, Ting Mobile. Does this work? There we go. So if you go to ToddStevensMTG.Ting.com, um, you can sign up for Ting Mobile and get $25 off your first phone bill. So what this is, is Ting Mobile is um, is where you only use just how much you only pay for how much data you use. So um, if you are like me that like works at home and so you're just connected to your Wi-Fi, or if you have like Wi-Fi at work and, and at home and you just don't need to use very much data at all, then you may be able to save a lot of money by switching to Ting. Um, so uh, the average monthly bill for Ting is twenty three dollars. And um, and uh, you can just go to the site and check out like what what your bill would look like, and so you get twenty five dollars to to switch uh, to uh, right away. So you basically get a free month off there. So they have uh, they use the Sprint uh, nationwide network, so you can um, you know so they have good nationwide coverage, no contracts, and you just pay for what you use. You just go month by month. You can cancel any time. So. Again, ToddStevensMTG.Ting.com. Um, check it out. All right, we are one and one with Abzan Tithe. I spent probably around $350 for Arena before. Actually, I put $100 before Ravnica Allegiance. It's probably about 450 But I'm basically have basically have everything in Arena now. Um, most certainly basically everything playable. But I've also been playing for like two and a half, three months. Like it's probably, probably about three months now almost every single day, so I've been grinding quite a bit, so I've been, you know, just, you know, so like that, I've been earning a whole lot from that also. So I didn't just get everything from just spending money. Yeah, it was certainly worth it for me. I mean, this is my, this is my job to play Magic on Arena, so I need the cards. So yeah, I'd say it was worth it. Opponent went swamp, 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 nothing else. Let us are you certain of your decision? Yeah, opponent, are you certain of your decision between revel and riches and smothering tithe? <laughs> yeah, Jory, this is this is what I do every single day. This is my this is my job. I'm here from three to ten Eastern every day. Ah, they gave us the smothering tithe. They gave us the wrong one. Smothering tithe is the one I wanted. That's another win. Smothering tithe too strong. Opponent couldn't handle it. All right, we don't know anything about our opponent's deck besides swamp, swamp, swamp. Um. I'm not going to bring in the aggro package. So Spyglass, Duress. I don't think we need Spyglass against Swamps. So basically, do we want Duresses? I don't know. I think I'm going to just keep it the same. It could, it could be Chromatic Black, and then maybe I'll want the Duresses for the next game. It could be just like a, a two-color aggro deck like maybe they're even like Golgari that just didn't uh, have like the green source and they just had like the green explore creatures I could see this being Golgari <laughs> Tithe OP yeah 
We had we had our our other wins against the the Bant opponent. We we played long, drawn out games. Ah, it looks like Demir. Dimmer. Our opponent's deck is more dimmer than ours. Yeah, opponent mold to five. Ooh, Ethereal Absolution is going to be great. You want something against 1-1s? One Aw, oh, man. I wanted that Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, I switched from Mono Black to Mono Blue. <laughs> Sideboard plan. Uh... Darn. Stop. Temprarios with a tier one sub for the third of month in a row. You were here? Yes. Always. Always here. Thanks, Tom. That is sub number eight on the day. Yeah, so they're just like blue black pirates. That's our opponent's playing. Blue black pirates. All right, we need a, we need like some removal spell for the Storm Tamer. Like the Curious Obsession is pretty rude. I'm gonna draw a lot of cards with that. We of course have the Thaumatic Compass that uh, will be able to be a removal spell next turn. So I guess I guess we got that. That's as good as we can do. Any creatures in the graveyard? Nope. Why are there rampages in my hand? Because I haven't I haven't cast them yet. Thief of Sanity. Well, Compass cannot stop Storm Tamer and Thief, so we're gonna need some kind of removal. Not it. Any removal spell. Anyone. Um Would I rather so would I rather them draw a random card or look at the top three cards of my library and take the best one? Probably draw a random card. Man, if we draw another Ethereal Absolution, that would be sweet. But of course our opponent could have another Counterspell by now, so we may be having some s slim draws. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. 
That is awesome. Was I already past blockers? I wanted to activate this thing. It just kind of started, kept going. Alright, they got something that wasn't a land. They got rid of two lands. <laughs> oh, poor opponent. Hey, we got one of those too. Two, three, four, five. Um. So now I can make a 2-2 flyer with Ethereal Absolution. So if they attack with Thief of Sanity, I can make a surprise 2-2 to block it. The problem is I, I don't get to do that plus Thaumatic Compass. I can only do one or the other. Yeah, their play was really, really sketchy with that Siren Storm Tamer. Giving us a, the ability to get a 2-2 into play. I don't I don't know what you're talking about, Cryo. I got it. I don't know what you're referring to. Well that's bad for us. Yep, yeah, my plugin. Mods for the channel back on the plugin. Yeah, oh are you talking about Deckmaster? Yeah, I think if you just, yeah, just reload the page maybe, or there's a button at the bottom center. One of those two. Alright, I really hope this Kaya's Wrath resolves. Right now, I have... I have the mana right now... Um... Or, sorry, I need one more mana. If I, if I draw one more land, I'll have the mana to be able to cast Ethereal Absolution first, and if they, you know, give them the chance to counter it, and then Kaya's Wrath. Okay, well, they could still have negate. Alright, but I cannot do both, so. No negate. No negate. Alright, no negate. Ooh, treasure time. Oh, I, I don't think it works with the with the app. Oh, with the desktop app? I don't know. I don't think it works on mobile. I don't know. Can y'all tell me? Does De does Deckmaster work on mobile? I see y'all would know a little better. Okay, it does not work on mobile. I wouldn't think so.
Oh, don't tap the spires of Araska. Deck. Ethereal Absolution, you have been canceled. Hey, what's up, track team? Day's going really good. I'm excited about these uh, decks that we're playing here. What are the win cons of the deck? Rampage of the Clans and Revel and Riches are the big ones. Hey, Blue Boy, it's going really good. Having a good day playing some Magic and starting off with a janky one. This is a lot of fun. Did we win yet? Whoa! That is rude. My opponent is hecka rude. Hmm. Nope, we have not won yet. We're going to die the slow death of this 1-2 killing us. That's a good card. If you use Rampage of the Clans, don't you get a bunch of 3 3s? Yeah, but then they would just go back to my hand. Because, you know, like this would, would still non land. Like the 3 3s would be non land permanent, so we'd still just. We'd get a bunch of 3 3s that would get bounced. So all we would do is just destroy our treasure map I and revel riches for nothing. Reveal who we are. One, two, three, four, five. Still want to activate both treasure maps, so. No, I don't have any creatures. Not. There's some on the sideboard, but we didn't board them in here. That's a good one. All right, we're looking. We're still looking real good. The time has come. Give me this thematic compass. Karnstrucks, yep, Karnstrucks are another win con. No. The slow death. Oh, Karnstrucks would make bigger than 5-5s five here. Like, these are both threes. So they would have made eight, an 8-8 eight, eight there. I could also just get a, a whole bunch of tokens and end stuff. Yeah, we could just do these constructs. Or not. I want to win with Revel and Riches. I want Revel and Riches to win. Yeah, I'm going maximum greed and trying to win with Revel and Riches. I've never won with Revel and Riches yet. Uh, I want to do it. So maximum green. No! Opponent! 
You are so rude. So rude. So I can play New Karn and go grab the Kai's Wrath. Kai's Wrath are bored. I'll just go ahead and do that. Oh no, now I can't Kai's Wrath. I battle for the forces of good. My my auto tap. These are all colorless. Oh, I I may have to use a treasure, but I want to use a treasure. Man, I gotta use a treasure. What was lost is now. I guess I was a little ways away from. All right, treasure down. Give me his mortify back. So there's what one other revel and riches in the deck. I was gonna try to find that other revel and riches. Because I bet there's probably some kind of sweet animation if you want revel and riches, right? Like there probably is. Who knows? Don't even know. Hey, we got a we got 40 gems for our daily reward for just a random card. I guess a random card turned into a mythic that I already had four of. So that's sweet. Two and one with Abs and Tithe. No sweet animation. No, we haven't won a, a game with Revel yet. There's no animation? No, that is so sad. How is there not an animation? For Revel in, in the riches. Is there a the in the word? No, just Revel in riches. Ooh, we got Smothering Tithe. All right, here we go. I, I don't have any five color deck. Okay, you've won with it a couple of times. Hmm. I'm gonna go and lead with compass and then turn three, activate compass just to make sure we got our fourth land so I can play Smothering Tithe on four. It's just raining coins at the victory stream, right? That would be pretty good. Just throwing down all these riches. Alright, so we're gonna go get a swamp so we can have Kai's Wrath available. Hey, Brocktoon. How good is Boros midrange in best of three? Um, I like Boros aggro is good. I'm not sure what Boros midrange entails too much. Elvish Rejuvenator. I'm gonna start with this. Next turn, if they if they don't pay, and if we draw a land, we can just play the ethereal absolution and kill both their creatures with absolution here. As long as their opponent doesn't have Vivian, we're good. Can't possibly beat a Vivian ever. Not until sideboard. I got three <coughs> spy glasses in the sideboard for it. All right, come on, land. Uh, no. All right, am I? Just playing Karn? I can't really kill a Karn. Karn finds lands. How convenient. An excellent choice. See? That's like really this should just be titled Karn Finder of Lands. <laughs> the deck's doing better than you expected. But yeah, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Karn is a really good landlord. 
My retribution will be swift. You hear that, opponent? Swift. Whoa. Alright, maybe I should just Kaya's Wrath. Because that, that there Moldratha. Yeah, I should probably just Kaya's Wrath. I'll make use of that later. All right, we got a revel in riches. Um, so I use one treasure here. To play that and Wrath. Because certainly want to hit land drops, so got to activate that thalmatic compass to get a land. Because yeah, you know, lands are going to be the the big problem for us. Oh no! Not the Vivian. Wasn't meant Opponent. To be why you gotta? Why you gotta be like this? That out of here. Why well, you gotta be like this? Well chosen. Well chosen. Great A Pinball! With the donation for a donation deck. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I don't even have my Streamlabs up. All right, what do we got from Raid A Pinball? Raid has made some sweet decks you before. Can't stop um, a lot of people really like the um, Mono Black Bane Fire deck. Uh, that was a Raid A pinball deck. All right, any way to sneak this into the stream today? With Mardu Control, ooh. Yeah, so if I, all right, so if we sneak Mardu Control in here today, we'll get rid of either Teamer Midrange or Rakdos Midrange, one of those two midrange decks. I'm certainly gonna be playing Band Value. Hmm. I'm just gonna cast down this Midnight Reaper. Get that thing out of here. And then I'll play Revel. Alright, what do I have? Karn to minus? Nothing. I know they can't block. Like I know they can't block the two two, but Tatiova is just an awesome card. I actually do just want to kill Tatiova, but I'm playing the Revel first so we can get double treasure. I may just make a token with Karn here. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. And then I have Rampage of the Clans up. Scars are lessons written in skin. Yeah, the Ural Consardus. Yeah, we're we're doing good. We're doing good here. Our opponent has I've a lot of cards, of course, and they have a Vivian in play. Like you. All right, so Chupacabra. So they're gonna kill this, the five five. I think I'm gonna just rampage the clans. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go for it. I'm making sure I don't use treasures. Because then these are all gonna be four fours next turn. I'm gonna have six four fours. And they're at twenty. 
Boom. What you got now, opponent? Elvish Rejuvenator? That's not going to save you. I think they're dead? Unless they have to have another creature. Do they have another creature? No, no creature. Attack for lethal next turn. Auto tap always just wants to use. Kill that thing. Kill this thing. <laughs> you won't be needing that. You will not be needing that. Level of riches. Oh man, Rampage of the Clans also. Rampage of the Clans, just our opponent's just getting a chupacabra, thinking they're doing okay, and then boom. Here's six three threes on the battlefield. Alright, our deck is sweet. Alright, so I need spy glasses for Vivians. Um they're probably gonna play a bunch of Knight of Autumns, but whatever. Oh, Ethereal Absolution could certainly become meta. Like, this card's sweet. And, like, they, they stack, you know? Like, they're, it's not legendary. If you have two on the battlefield, all your creatures, your opponent's control get minus two, minus two. You know, think of having three, four. Like, they just can't play creatures anymore. They're just all dead. Okay. If I play the Spyglasses, though, what am I cutting? That's kind of the problem, is finding stuff to cut. Because our deck's too cool. Maybe a Rampage of the Clans. We kind of go down on, on our combo pieces a little bit. Like one Rampage, one Revel. Um, and then the Chromatic Lantern. Do like that little bit of ramp that Lantern provides. I don't think I want to cut Mortify. Seem to have, like they have a, yeah, no, they have they have creatures that are worth killing for sure. Hmm. Alright, Lantern. It's gonna be a little tougher on the on the draw here. Uh us being on the play was, was pretty nice how we got the smothering titan play pretty early. Where to spend wild cards if I'm a new player and don't want to play only mono red or blue. Um I think you kinda have to find a deck a deck you like. A lot. Uh, goldfish. You can kind of just kind of go to MTG Goldfish and kind of look for look for something that you, that you like. And build towards it. Oh, you're welcome, Radio Pinball. Um, ah, Duress Bug works again. It seems to always work. Whatever you, whatever you take, there's just gonna be one of those on top. All right, so if we're playing Mardu Control today, then we're either gonna cut Teamer mid range or Rakdos mid range. So let's do a, a poll here. Should we, should we, like, so vote for the deck. Um, I guess vote for the one you want to see. Okay? So, out of Rakdos midrange or Teamer midrange, we're going to play one of those two today. We are... Oh, man. We didn't even get a third land? We need four. Um, so, I'm going to have 90 seconds. Wait, wait, wait for the poll. Wait for the poll. So, either type Teamer or Rakdos... Which one you want to see today? The other one will be on tomorrow. I'm uh, the other one's just going to get moved to, to tomorrow. So here you go. All right, poll started there. Which one do you want to see, Teamer or Rectus? The other one's tomorrow.
You don't need you don't need an exclamation point. Just either just type just write teamer or Rakdos. You have 90 seconds. All right, come on, Black Source. Nope. Well, I was gonna name Vivian, but I guess I just gotta name this Thrashing Brontodon. Hey, I'm teaching your girl. Yeah, I remember I was gonna ask you something. So still 60 seconds, still lots of time. Which one do you want to see today, either Rakdos or Teamer? We have a donation deck that's gonna take the slot of the other one, the other one's gonna get moved to tomorrow. Treasure map. Good thing is we're up a game and our opponent has a dead weight. So that's good. They have that in their deck. I just realized our opponent doesn't even have two green mana sources. I just realized. Black. Ugh. Dang. All right, Rakdos winning the vote. Um, maybe we need that Chromatic Lantern back, especially on the play. Usually, it's easier to hit land drops on the draw with the extra card, but we were not getting them there. Um, maybe I take out one cast down. Yeah, I'll take out a cast down. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do uh, Abzan and then... Uh, Abzan, then Mardu, then Rakdos, then Bant. Hmm. Should probably split up Mardu and Rakdos, because those are pretty similar. And I should probably this the Mardu deck's similar to the deck we're playing here, so I, I should split those up. Hmm. I can't. I guess I can't do both. Max Dozer, welcome to the stream. Thanks for subscribing there with Twitch Prime. I really do appreciate it. It's our ninth sub of the day. And it looks like it gets us back to 61. We were we actually went to 62 there for a second. It gets us back to needing 61. Subscribers. Uh, very similar. Bant value, very similar to Naya value. Um, mostly with the whole, uh, Militia Bugler stuff. I, I don't have, like, the whole Explorer package in Bant. I just have Jade Light Ranger. I am Karn. A curious choice. So the problem with taking up Karn, though, is they could have Plague Crafter. We saw a Plague Crafter last game. I guess I could minus and make it so Plague Crafter wouldn't kill it. I'm not sure if I really want to play around that, though. Go. 
I will nothing is ever truly lost. All right, so I can I can use three treasures here to get smothering tithe on the battlefield. I'm going to go ahead and do that. This isn't like the the best value play. But we get Smothering Tithe on the battlefield, and we use three treasures, but Smothering Tithe should be able to replace those treasures, presumably, for us. Alright, so if we just play Rakdos midrange next, and then Bant value, and then Mardu control, that splits up the Rakdos and the Mardu decks, and it also splits up the Mardu and the Abzan deck, which are really similar. Hmm. Monster Born's annoying. Ooh. All right, I'm, I'm gonna make a, I will a defend creature this time. Must be built. I haven't played the Rakdos Burn in Best of One. Um, it would probably probably need like some tuning. Uh, you may not need all 12 extra draw cards in best of one because best of one is so much more about curving out. So um, I think I'd probably take out sword point diplomacy for electrostatic field in best of one. <laughs> hey Schmidt. Welcome back, second month in a row, saying I love the stream, I look forward to watching it. Well, thank you so much. Um, make another token. Let's see, let's draw here. Yeah, I'm gonna make another token. Awaken. All right, so that gets us to sub number 10 on the day, down to needing 60 more subs there for the next 12 hour stream. And we're going to be getting another pack here. I advise that you yield. Yeah, you can pop any treasure to draw with Treasure Cove works out pretty well. I make my own decisions. All right, if I rampage the clans, we get 4 3 threes. So they can block one with Karn, a Karn minus. Then I lose this whole engine. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Like we're we're pretty behind these planeswalkers. Oh, they ticked up. That choice. They didn't even didn't even make something to block. So we just get to kill all their planeswalkers. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. All right, we can kill all the planeswalkers. They still have five cards in hand. Good choice. Whew. That's a lot of playcrafters. Still naming Vivian. Because I'm just going to kill all of these. Lord I will no, I won't forgive this. Unfortunately, um, 
Yeah, that that Vras's contempt is really really bad for us. Really hope they, uh, really hope they do not contempt here. Really hope we get to Karn minus, and get the Vraska. Nope. Wow, we have gotten very fortunate with drawing Karns. A team unlock kill three planeswalkers in one turn. Right? Give me this. Follow Daniel. 3 7 for the third month in a row. That gets some hype. Man, that's like. We have been really fortunate drawing Karns. Okay. So we need to we need to make some creatures because of these play crafters. My mission is fight them, you maggots. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Hey, good evening, Mascalar. Um I guess Ray Day, does does that work for you if we wait till the end for Mardu Control? Wait till the end of the towards the end of the stream? Is that okay with you, Ray Day Pinball? If you're gonna be busy later though tonight. And if that doesn't work as well for you, let me know. Are you certain of your decision? Heck yeah, Pat. Yeah, glad. Yeah, so you're glad this is a. Uh... PC game to be able to play it whenever you want. Thank you. All right, so double play crafter. Interesting. So it's just gonna be single play crafter. They go land. Single play crafter we can handle. Hmm, Midnight Reaper even. Well, our opponent's just putting themselves dead on board. No, because I can't. I can't minus and ultimate. So no, they don't know that they're dead. Never mind. It's not on board. Uh, your life total is now one. Oh wait, actually, yeah, because they they saw these Kaya's rats, didn't they? Didn't they duress and see these? I don't know. But I want to kill them with the Kaya's wrath. I know I could like kill their thing and attack them, but we'll just kill them with the Kaya's wrath. Put them down to one. There we go. Three and one. Yeah, we could have also just attacked and then uh, dealt the damage to Reaper, and the Reaper kills them. But how many times do you kill somebody with a Kaya's Wrath? That's a different way to win. All right, our Avzan Tithe deck. Looking pretty strong here. Uh, we got to 10 subs earlier, so that means it's time for another pack. Like, you win after attacking a lot. You don't win by wrathing the board. All right, we got Ravnica Allegiance last time. There's not many cards for me to get left in that set. Which, I'm going to get a different one. Let's see. I'm going to get... Let's get an Ixalan pack. Old Growth Dryads. Ugh. This is one of my least favorite cards. I hate giving my opponents lands. But man, talk about 
Talk about a powerful pack with uncommons. Branch Walker, Wild Growth Walker. Never coming back to my own school. Now, so that's the good thing is we don't, yeah, like, don't have to worry about the vault with opening packs anymore. So now I can just kind of keep opening up the different sets and kind of work towards finishing up all the rares that we don't have. I don't use any tool that gives me any completion level. I don't. I've heard a lot of good things about uh, mtgarena.pro. No, the vault still exists. We actually we actually got it yesterday. It's mostly for the common and uncommons now, though. All right, I'm gonna need Kai's Wrath to have a chance here. So we're gonna upkeep Scry, look for Kai's Wrath. We have a whole lot of sideboard stuff against Red, so you know we'll have a better chance after sideboarding. Zexian with the second month in a row. Keep going with your content. You're amazing. Thank you so much, Zexian. Well, I do appreciate that continued support also. Opponent's rude. Okay, we are at 12 subs on the day now. 59 for the next 12 hour stream. And we're at four life. I don't really have any life gain in the main deck, so I think we're just kind of dead. I want to be able to activate treasure map. If it matters. I will allow me. We got life gain in the sideboard, not game one. But yeah, I guess just answer that. Ooh. Alright, we'll keep other Karn. I don't know, maybe we can go aggro Karn. Maybe we can go Karn aggro. Until you have lived as a statue, evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Man, if they brick on another draw step, we like have them dead next turn. Yeah, they're like pretty dead next turn. They just draw another land. I guess we need another we need another artifact. Well, Karn's gonna make another artifact. Oh boy. I think we got him. Oh, Did we do it? To my we did it! We did it! Whew. What about that? See, when you play good decks, good things happen. So unfortunately, this matchup we gotta we gotta cut back of our cheeky combos, and we're getting rid of the, the Tithe, Revel, and Rampage, and bringing in uh, the Angels. Um, that does still leave us at fifty-eight, so we gotta bring in more cards. So we're gonna bring in some duresses also. I think I'm just going to play four duresses and cut the absolutions because they're just pretty slow. So that's that's our that's our uh, plan. Yeah, I love ethereal absolution. Also, yeah, I think it is. I think it's certainly possible to build decks around ethereal absolution. I think, uh, yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Well, I think we can keep this. 
Got a duress right away, and we have good mana that we can start drawing our wraths and draw our wraths and angels. The big question is if I'm going to shock for the duress. It's probably not worth to shock in for a duress. The problem is I don't. I'm not sure when we're going to cast this duress now. If we don't, like if we're going to play Thalmatic Compass on two, if we activate it on three, kind of thing like that. Do they have like some spell on turn three? I'm super worried about. Oh no, I'm gonna. I'll just play this. I need. I want to get artifacts in play because of these Karns. Ooh, I like shock. I can take shocks. It takes ten shocks to kill somebody. You just have lands and shocks. Nothing else. That's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Dun is mine. All right, Flamakeld or Frenzy. Um, they, it's probably harder to beat Frenzy than Flamakeld. Uh, what do you think about Walls deck now with the new enchantments? I I haven't played any Walls deck at all yet. With that, I, so I, I haven't tried that out yet. Uh, Flip, so one of my man, I'm working on a deck and struggle against aggro. Can I donate the list? Just you talking in a few minutes to provide some tips. Yeah, no, I I, I absolutely do that thing. That's uh, uh, do, call those deck techs. Yeah, so you can donate for a deck tech. Um, I am. Card. Yeah, and inf info about that's down below, of course. Um, and yeah, and I can do that on during stream or after stream also. Either either way. And yeah, so that's that's Some like the deck tech. Alright, so they get lots of cards. This third chapter of Flame Keld is gonna be rough. I'm not gonna activate treasure map during upkeep, because we could draw like Lyra Dawnbringer or Angel of Grace. We did not draw either of those. But those are cards we could have drawn. Awaken! Just going aggro Karn. Always aggro Karn. This is the scary turn. All their three damage burn spells deal five. So if they have three, three damage burn spells, we're dead. All their, th like, Chain Whirler does three to all my creatures and three to me. All right, land's a great start. That's five. We're down to eight. Is that all he had? I think that's all he had. I think this is a this is another win. We defeated Red Deck wins. Of course, they, they drew lots of lands there, but... Make way for you. I'll take what's mine. Give me a bunch of 7-7s. Seven sevens. There we go. We didn't even get... We didn't even draw, like, our Shalai's or Lyra's or Angel of Graces. None of those. Karn just makes very large creatures. And we got a lot of rewards for beating Red Deck Wins, it looks like. Okay, Abzan Tithe gets to face the final boss. Wow. Uh, after we, we lost the first game 0-2, the first match 0-2, in games that weren't very close, we got destroyed the very first game of our second match. And it looked like it was going to be a really quick league. We are playing... Uh, Turbo Fog in the second match with all of our sweepers and everything. But somehow we just beat Turbo Fog and then we're just keeping on winning. And now we're at the final boss. Alright, Postal Service. We gotta get our final boss music going. Ooh, 
I don't think we can keep that. All right. Karn MVP. Still no win with Revel, no. Not yet. Putting the five mana spell on the bottom when we certainly need a fourth land. I had I had some interaction for three turns, because my my turn three I played a duress, so that's some interaction for three turns. Hello. Ooh, they're playing teamer. It's not much interaction, but it's a little bit. We took that experimental frenzy. That was a big game. They were kind of relying on that card. Hey, Shadow Titan, good games. Yeah, we're playing a uh, a Revel of Riches deck. Revel and Riches. Yeah, this is the the boss fight music in Final Fantasy VII. Really? They just keep Bronted on? Who does that? Who does that? So if I if I play Karn, oh, I'm just playing this thing. Because the problem with playing Karn here. Is that Karn's gonna die? Smothering Tithe means we get to play a six ma six mana thing next turn. All right, can we get can we get that Wrath back? Can I just get this card back real quick? Basically everything is vulnerable. I could play Karn, make a token, but then they just kill the token with Brontodon and then kill me. Or kill, kill Karn, sorry. I could Vraska minus, kill one of these things, but then they just get to kill Vraska with the other thing. Um, I could Ethereal Absolution, but it doesn't do anything, and then they just they could kill Ethereal Absolution and attack me for 8, or they still just attack me for 6. It doesn't actually do anything. I d I'm not going to play Ethereal, because it doesn't like really hurt my opponent at all um and we're still just going to be we're going to be a lot farther behind i think i have to i have to either sacrifice karn or vraska here um and i make that karn I could Vraska. That's true. I could Vraska tick up. I don't know why I wasn't really thinking of Vraska tick up. Out of all the things to do. That's a big creature. Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. That's not so bad, though. Because now Vraska kills Zagana. I guess they can still kill Vraska. I will be the one to guide my people. But that takes their turn with the Incubation Druid. So like if they if they want to just yeah adapt to this incubation druid they'll take them they'll take their whole turn. I hope we draw the uh, rampage of the clans 
that's our card that we're really looking for here. That we can turn all these things into three threes. I think that's that's probably the card that we want the most here. I'll remember this. Ah, uh, dang it. Absolution wasn't on the battlefield to kill that Jade Light. Maybe they just get two lands and it's going to kill it anyway. Nah, climb. Climb's going to be tough. Where's our Wraths? We need Akaya's Wrath. All right, so we can spend three treasures to make a 2-2. Two -two. So that's what I'm certainly going to do. We'll kill the Spellbreaker. A playlist. Deck's not helping us out too much here. Our three cards did pretty good, though. You know, we had three cards. And all, like, those three cards killed uh, four creatures. We killed four creatures with our three cards and have stayed alive. Basically what our opponent's doing here with this teamer deck, this was going to be the teamer midrange that we were going to play that we removed for the Mardu Control donation deck later on. Yeah, I have nothing. That's why I have this auto-passing on because that means I have nothing. We need Kaya's Wrath here. Hmm. Karn into double Kaya's Wrath. Or Ka Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, I just... Because, you know, the Hellkite just kills us with the activated ability and everything. We make reveal who we are. Dang. Just a crazy idea, but wouldn't Smothering Tithe be really awesome in a Selesnya deck with March? Yeah, March could give you a way to use that mana. And why does our opponent have Thrashing Bronted on and them keep Thrashing Bronted on? That was rude. Where were you at? Of course, we didn't know what we were playing against because it was game one. I, I bought him the Cleansing Nova when we had our three lands there. Really wish I didn't bought him that Cleansing Nova. Um, I could see my opponent struggling with Lyra Dawnbringer. I could see that happening. Um, I'm not sure if that means I'm going to put it in, but I, I could see that. Hmm. Final bosses are really hard. Final bosses are certainly pretty hard.
No EOD guy. A lot of... No, our opponent wasn't stream sniping last last time when they said good game in chat afterwards. That certainly happens with people coming in after the match and, and saying good game and everything. I don't just... That doesn't mean that people are stream sniping because they, they come in and say good game afterwards. Um, the Abzi and Tice deck is surprised. It's feeling better than expected. Better than expected, certainly. Yeah, so don't 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 make assumptions like that against people that that they're stream sniping because of that. Yeah, Bronzadon's a, a fine card. I guess they just wanted to keep it. I don't know. All right, well, our hand's a lot better than last time. I do not want to see Gruul Spellbreaker here. Is Gruul Spellbreaker... Huh. Because I would not be able to mortify the Gruul Spellbreaker yet. Well, let's just go ahead and get that Hedonis climb out of here. I battled how convenient. An excellent choice. Yeah, we did a vote of we did a vote here in chat to replace either Rakdos or Teamer. And Teamer got bumped again, so we'll do Teamer tomorrow for sure. It's not getting bumped. But our opponent's playing the Teamer deck right now. Uh it's looks this you know, so kinda get to see what the, the Teamer deck's all about. What our opponent's doing over here. A curious choice. Hmm. Kinda wanna play that smothering tithe. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. That has been negated. Hmm. So now they cannot adapt the druid, but they do get to add a lot of mana. Please stop. So they can add four mana. So they still have still have negate up. I feel like they still have a negate in hand. We're gonna play the Dawnbringer. You're welcome, Vuj. What's the other? We got a Kaya's Wrath over there. is needed. Grabbing a new Kaiser Wrath. Yeah, Revel of the Riches is our win con here. We haven't been able to win with Revel and Riches yet. So I just I have to block with Dawnbringer because they can just like they just get to wing temple and kill Karn. I don't want Karn to die. I'm just gonna Kaiser out the way the board. Yep, we got and see our other win, win con is Rampage of the Clans. We've we've been winning with this card a whole lot. 
where we make a bunch of treasures and then like destroy all of our treasures and make a bunch of three threes and kill our opponents with these three threes. Oh yeah, the deck's definitely better without Revel. Or I don't know about definitely, but yeah, definitely isn't the wrong word. Likely. You may regret that choice. So one, two, three, four. Do I even Kai's Wrath or should I just Relic Seeker? I still have a counter spell available. I'll just go ahead and Kai's use one of these. And sixty-seven. Down, down. That's likely all their negates. They could maybe have one more. Hey, nah, I'm going to save the second Kaias now. I'll save, I'm going to save the second Wrath. Your efforts are futile. Let's read the Franklin. Alright, we got to win with with Revel and Riches. We haven't won with Revel and Riches yet. We got to try. This is going to kill Karn, I guess. Oh, well. Karn, you died a hero. You got us another Revel and Riches. Oh no, it's not going to kill Karn. Duh, it's not. They just go to two power. It's not not going from two to four. Just going to two. That's only three. Okay, good. Karn's still alive. I was thinking that two, and then I was thinking that was going to be double, but that that was already the double. I'm just going to draw a card. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really mind drawing another land. I'll make use of that later. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we're gonna shock. We have lots of life, so I want to play Relic Seeker, and I want to be able to have Cast Down up, and I want to be able to activate Throw Treasure Map. Aside. Being greedy, I want to do everything. Hey, good afternoon, Sculpt of Mine. All right, we're going to game three. So they have lots of negates. Um, Dawnbringer is not good against a flipped climb because their creatures are kind of too big. Absolution does a good job of killing Elves. Did it add enough tools to make a mill deck competitive? I certainly think you can play a mill best of one um, pretty easily. It's it's winning games two and three is really tough. Final game with the final boss. I'm going to play a couple duress against their negates and stuff. Maybe that's not necessary, though. I'm debating between negate and ethereal absolution. I just trim a revel. Trim a revel, play one absolution, and play two duress. All right. <laughs> the final boss is final form. Yeah, winning winning game three on the draw is always tough. It's always tough winning a game on the draw. I don't think Spyglass for Hadana is worth it. Our opponent's going to six. So we'll kind of keep the hand of lands here. Uh, hope we draw our Wrath. This is this is a whole lot like our first hand, the game one hand, and we did not draw Wraths. 
We could Spyglass Brontodon. Keep Bronte from killing my enchantments. not want another land. Alright, deck. I guess we get another land. Hellkite. Nothing scary. Ooh, not even keeping it. Are they just looking for blue mana, maybe? Maybe they have a bunch of blue spells. That could certainly be a thing. Alright, so we're about to have a lot of treasures. Still looking for a wrath. Uh, you know, we get we do get to play Vraska next turn. We can, like, Vraska tick up. Or I could Vraska minus. Probably Vraska tick up. I would like to find Wrath, though. Oh, I had... I had my upkeep stop. Like, it was... It was chilling right there. Bleh. Okay, are we taking up or taking down? Prepare the gallows. We take down, kill this Jade Light, then this Jade Light kills my Vraska. And go up. My crew is the finest in the seas. We can block the three two. Oh gosh. That thing's scary. Alright, we will have the upkeep stop this time. We have five Wraths. We need any of these five Wraths. In our deck. We haven't found one yet. We've seen 12 plus those three. We've seen 15 cards so far. Well, my opponent made my job pretty easy. Well, let's see. Yeah. That's just my block. My people need me. Not a wrath. Draw. Not a wrath. Um, I guess I'm just gonna play Vraska minus kill the Hellkite. Does mean our other Vraska's dead, though. Forgot about Vivian. I need Spyglass for Let's Vivian. Tear this place apart. Oh, we forgot about Vivian. This is nothing. Yeah, not having Spyglass for Vivian is really rough. Uh, oh, that Vivian's gonna kill us. This. Um. Our actions, <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. I'm not feeling good about where we're at right now. Against our opponent's five cards in a Vivian. Not feeling very good at all. Balance comes. Yeah, there's, there's certainly, yeah, there's green combat tricks. They 
give creatures plus whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Oh no. Bronstodon kills Tithe. Bronstodon can also kill my creature token. Uh. This looks really bad for us. Doesn't look any better. There are greater battles to fight. Okay. That's not bad. Let us begin. Oh, say hello to my little friend. I played your Teamer Gates deck to a 2-2 finish. I struggled versus control very hard. Got any advice for me? Um, I mean, that is going to be the... the Toughest matchup for the deck. Um, the wilds are my. Shield. There's nothing wrong with two and two. Um, you know, it's just a, a real small sample of only four matches. Let's say just kind of keep on keep on playing it. If you know, try it out some more. If you feel like you want to tweak the sideboard, any go ahead. But yeah, it's it's certainly possible to to lose some some games to control. So we're going to start cracking these treasures with the treasure cove to draw cards. Awesome. Glad you're enjoying the deck, though. Good. No, you're you're not bad at magic if you if you have not gotten past two wins and constructed best of three. It is difficult to get past two wins um, because to get to three wins you have to go three and one. That's winning, you know, seventy five percent of the games. It's not that's not easy. All right, our opponent is keeping up three mana here instead of playing Lano or Elf. We know they want like one mana for Brontodon, presumably. Um, what are they doing with this other mana? pretty good all right so I am gonna I think I I think I do just kill the Brontodon honestly because otherwise if I don't kill Brontodon they get to trump lock with it and then sack and destroy another This forces their hand, so they can't just like block sack, kill the other. Awaken. Oh, I guess I should. Maybe I should play the crisis or the the compass. All right, get out of here, you. I want to draw a card now. <laughs> Dude, these these treasures have been awesome. No Dealing saying that the smothering tights 
not very good. But I mean, like we we keep on, keep on making treasures, we get to um, sacrifice to draw cards. That's pretty good, and it also makes these creatures these creatures really big. All right, now we have the spires of Araska for if they have any more dragons, which they've already gone through three dragons. So we're doing good there. I would love to draw Ethereal Absolution. I think I only have one Ethereal Absolution, but the problem is now our opponent certainly has Negate. They, oh, okay, they've tapped out. No Negate. No Negate. Big time. Ooh. We can instant speed, make a bunch of 3-3s. Three draw. It's like, of course it's one less 3-3 three, three you can make. Oh, that's a great draw. Great draw. Dude, that deck is sweet. Meet my newest friend. Yeah. Tithe plus Karn plus map seems really nice. The rest of the deck more questionable. That's fair. That's fair. Stern. But fair. So I, right now I can just have eight instant speed three threes. Opponent would never even know. Certainly expects counter magic um, coming up here. But the other thing, the other reason why that tithe is a good draw because we get some more of these treasures to make. Now with these creatures are six sixes, so they're still uh, threatening lethal on the opponent. Is rewarded. On another compass. Let's see if they're going to let Vivian die or not. This is Abzantithe. A draw a card? Yeah. I'm in for drawing a card. Okay, okay. Um. No, don't tap the spires! That spires was not even shown that it was going to be tapped. That was not... When, when I looked at the auto-tap, that was not one of the lands being tapped, because this Spires is going to be tapped also. Ugh. If I cast the Duress this turn, it just kind of lets my opponent use their mana for, like, negate. I'm going to, like, wait on that. Because I don't expect them to use their mana here. Okay, they have... Sure, they have that thing. No, I don't think I should dress there. But I certainly want Aspires, because they have they have haste creatures. Certainly want Aspires available. Come to me.
yeah, if they had, yeah, they would just, like, Crushing Canopy, they could just cast in response. I want to be able to take a counter spell before I resolve something important. I guess the problem with Spellbreaker, I can't I can't even spires this thing anyway. The hexproof, that's really annoying. Alright, so they're just making it a 4-4. Four, four. Holding back on D. So they're gonna really they're really trying to ultimate this Vivian. Looks like. And yeah, they're not playing the climb. How convenient. An excellent choice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and duress this turn, because we may need to Rampage the Clans. Oh. Interesting. We get to hit, we get to hit Vivian. Ah, I'm a survivor. All right, well, then I'm certainly casting Kai's Wrath, because this Spellbreaker is going to kill us. So, duress first. Yeah, that, that thing just kills us, because it has Hexproof during their turn. Um. Yeah, I got it. I got a wrath. Otherwise, I'm dead. I wonder if getting Kaya's wrath countered is is actually better for me. They're still not paying the two. What are you? What are you doing with all this mana? You can't stop nature. So we can get eighteen power on the battlefield here. Double rampage doesn't doesn't do anything. Okay. I th Think that may kill our opponent. They're at 16. Ah. Oh no, because I get new treasures. Because they draw. That's it. Final boss defeated. Oh no, they still have two mana for a, a counter spell. But I have two rampages. So we're good. Rampage of the clan. Instant speed. Three threes. They never expect it. Nobody expects the instant speed three threes. Ba boom. Attack. Ooh. There we go. All right, rampage of the clan. Getting our opponent. That card's awesome. The Smothering Tithe deck worked. Thank you, Cryo. Cryo donated and told me to make a, a Smothering Tithe deck. I made this earlier today. And we went 5-1 with it. That is awesome. Tier 1 deck confirmed. All right. What are we getting for our prizes? OK, hey, we got a, some rare I don't own. That's good. The Lich. All right, and 2,100 gold. All right, Abzantith was awesome. So Revel and Riches, we never really got to do anything with Revel and Riches, unfortunately. Um, but Smothering Tithe is, was a very real card. Rampage of the Clans was really sweet. We won a lot of games with Rampage of the Clans. This was like maybe our um, most common way to win games. Uh, our opponents conceding was a, another common way. Karn making some constru some constructs. Worked out sometimes also. Um, so there we go. Yeah, Antiquities War. Antiquities War could could be decent with Smothering Tithe also. Maybe we should be going blue and making it Bant. Because uh, then with Bant you can have the emergency powers 
when you have this out so you get a, a ton of treasures and then you can have antiquities war also but uh yeah this is pretty sweet so yeah if you if you want to, to build a revel and wretches revel in riches deck for fnm and you wanted one and you wanted it to be kind of competitive here you go try this out this worked out pretty well so so why not mardu with land destruction kits um because i wanted to play rampage of the clans that's why i wanted to to play um oh yeah if if you play bant you don't have kaya's wrath but you you could you just play four cleansing novas uh and i guess you could have settle also you can have settle cleansing nova um well, there we go cool all right if you're watching this over on youtube later don't forget to hit, to hit that subscribe button i'll go ahead and put the youtube link here in the chat for those of you uh here in chat you can find see all my replays there on youtube later on and uh yeah that'll be it for me today for this video thanks for watching i'll see you for the next one